This is a video on the HP 300S Plus, a scientific calculator for logs. Now, this is a pretty unique calculator uh, from the start, and you'll see why. Um, so let's say you had the log of base 525. Most calculators have the log button, which is base 10. This one's base 5. Uh, but this calculator has a log, blank space, blank space, for any log um, base. That's pretty neat. So let's calculate this. You press this button right here, okay? And it gives you, hey, what's the base? 5, move it over, 25 equals 2. Straightforward, isn't it? How do you do it if you didn't have the uh, different uh, log base? Well, there's a rule that says the log of 25 divided by the log of 5 based on base 10. It's a rule. So log of 25 divided by log of 5 should give you the answer. So if I say this log right here, this log, right, 25, close it, close parentheses, divided by log 5, oops, 5. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, delete and then parentheses equals 2. Same answer. Let's say you had the log of base x25 equals 2. There's a rule that says that the log of a, b equals c, which is the same thing as a, a to the c equals b. This rule is important. The rule is very important because I can rearrange this and get rid of the log, which is x squared equals 25. Take the square root on both sides, x is equal to the square root of 25. So, if you take the square root of 25, and then you press equals, it gives you 5. Perfect. Then, um, let's say the log of base 10, x equals 2, which is 10 squared, using this rule, 10 squared equals x. All right, so 10, right, to the power of 2 equals 100. I think we knew that already, but great. Let's do some anti-logs, 10 to the 2.5. So if we put 10, x to the blank, <laughs> 2.5 equals, that gives you an answer of 316.2277 and so forth. There's another way of doing this. If you look at the log key, there's a 10 to the blank already. So shift, 10 to the blank, 2.5 equals, gives you the same answer. Okay, let's move on. 10 to the negative 1.5. So shift, log key. Then we're going to go with um, the plus or minus key, which I'm trying to find here. I wonder if that's it right here. Shift, plus or minus, 1.5 equals, and that gives you 0 0.03162, okay, and so forth. Um, if, it, if it's going too fast, by all means, pause it, and then um, move the video to a place where you feel more comfortable and watch it several times. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, please tell your friends, please tell your teacher, and if you're inclined, um, to support the channel, please uh, use the thanks button. Okay, so let's do um, 10 to the 1 half. So same thing, shift, and then we're going to go log. And um, this one has a fraction button. So let's do 1, the fraction button 2, so 2 to the half, and it gives you 3.1622, right, and so forth. Now, here's something that's very interesting. Um, 
This is really the square root of 10. This 2 is the index, and that 1 is over here. So you can rewrite it. So we can take the square root of 10 equals, and there you have a uh, answer of the square root of 10, like an algebraic answer. Here's an SD button if you press that one and gives you the decimal. Okay, if you press it again, let me see, it gives you the square root of 10. All right, so how about the log of 8? Right, the log of 8. Assuming the assumption is that no base that's a 10. So log 8 equals, it gives you 0 0.9030. Zero. All right, and it keeps on going. All right, how about the log of 8 squared? So this one, you say log 8, and then you can square it if you like. You can close the parentheses, equals, and it gives you 1.80617, um, which is correct. There is a rule that says you can bring the 2 down. 2 log of 8. So if you type 2 and then the log, it automatically multiplies it. And you put an 8, you can close it, equals, gives you the same answer, okay, as before. Um, now let's do the natural log <laughs> of uh, 8. So natural log is right here, this button right here. Natural log. Um, I don't see it there. Let's let's see. Let's use the AC button. Natural log. There we go. Eight. Close it. Equals two point zero seven nine four four. Keeps going. This natural log really is the log of base e of eight, which is the same answer as that. Now, what's e? Well, if you look at the natural log, there's an e squared. So if you go shift e squared, you put a 1 in there, it gives you the value. E is 2.718281. Okay, now, if that's the case, then we can say the log of 8 divided by the log of e, right? 8 is in the top, E is in the bottom, just like this. Um, and, and actually, we can probably do it another way on this calculator, but let's do it this way first. Um, so we're going to do the log, right, of base 10, and then 8, we close it, divide it, or we close it, let's make sure we close it, divided by, okay, log, and then we're going to do E. How do we do that? Shift natural log key, we put a 1, we move it over, and then we close it, equals, and you can see it's 2.07944, this answer, but we have a log any base number, so let's do that, let's press this button, and we have a log on the bottom, right, E, I'm sorry, E, so we go shift, Natural log, we put a 1 there, we scroll over, and we type in 8 equals 2.07944. That's very, that's very nice. It's a key that's built in to the calculator. That, this is a very nice calculator. Um, very, 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 very cool. Alright, um, let's do something like e to the minus 1.8. Right, um, so that's shift natural log, and then we put the negative, which is shift simp 1.8 equals gives you 0 0.16529, which is right, and then natural log of x equals 3. Hmm, take this natural log. Is the log of base e x equals 3. Based on this rule on the top, e to the third equals x, and e to the third 
shift, natural log, we type in the 3, we press equals, x equals 20.0855. That's the answer. What does this mean? Well, if we go back and we say the natural log of 20.0855 with all the numbers, that should give you 3. Is that right? I don't know. Um, so what we can do is take the natural log and then, uh, no, then you press answer, the previous answer. We can close it, equals 3. Oh, wow. <clears throat> that was, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? But I'll tell you something from the top, is that you need to practice just as if you were riding a bike. When you started riding a bike, it was very challenging. So you need to practice, practice. Make sure you rewind the video, take your time. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please tell your teacher, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to help out the channel, um, please use the thank you button. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.